Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, a very short video, but very important video, we're going to talk about the alerts and why you will absolutely fail by taking alerts unless you will address two main issues that 99% that of the traders are not even aware should be addressed before they will ever be able to succeed as a trader. So the question is, how much would you have made if you got these alerts on November First, so uh, GME 200 210 calls, coin 330 325 puts, uh, Zillow ticker Z 90 80 70 strike puts, and spy puts. Now, clearly, some of these uh, winning trades and some of these are losing trades. So, if you were to take action and take all of these alerts, uh, let me illustrate what would have happened. So Zillow, the alert went out when Zillow was at $97 on Monday, November, on Monday, November 1st. So Zillow puts, depending on whether you were getting 90 strike, 80 strike, or 70 strike puts, uh, this trade actually, guys, made um, anywhere from 28x to 50x, guys. This was a 20x to as much as... 50x trade. So basically, uh, just on this trade alone, depending on the strike, you could have made as much as 500k with just 10k. Now, the second chart here is GameStop. GameStop calls were suggested by Monday when the price of GameStop was around 196, 197, and uh, 200, 210 strike. We're going anywhere from five to ten bucks. Uh, Forty-eight hours later, right here, uh, they were going for as much as fifty-five, sixty dollars, uh, depending on uh, again what strike you had. And this is actually we didn't cash out right at the at the top here. Uh, if you work with me, uh, some other coaches, uh, we were scaling out around about two forty-six, two fifty level right here. And then uh, we actually took another trade on GMA on the reverse side on puts. We reversed into puts here and puts here, depending on what strike you had. This was another about three to four X trade. Uh, not as crazy as on the call side, but nonetheless, understanding the reversal was pivotal here. And uh, I mean, there were some other uh, trades this week that were much better, like NBAX and stuff like that. But uh, here's what actually happened. Uh, to put this quantitatively, okay, this is uh, a new guy that just signed up, and I was trading with him uh, on Monday. And so the first trade he took was uh, spy puts. Actually, the first trade I suggested for him to take was Amazon puts, and um, he would have made 15k on this trade. He didn't take it. In the second trade, as you can see right here, and there is a snapshot of a $6,000 loss on spy puts. Now, notice, I'm trying to get him in these trades. So, buy GME calls. I suggested that he would buy 20 GME calls. All right, this trade would have netted him at least 80K right here. 80 to 90, possibly 100K, depending on exactly what, you know, price he, would, he was buying them at that very moment. And I told him to buy 80 Zillow puts in the 90 strike. And at the time, they were going in the dollar range. And so this would have been for him at about a 30x trade. Uh, the payout on the 70 and 80 strike was much greater. But 90 strike clearly was a much uh, better trade, much secure strike, much safer type trade. And so 80 contracts of Z, 90 strike, would have been almost a 30x trade for him. So uh, this is uh, easily... Another uh, 240, 250k in profits right here. So two trades, just two trades, okay, would have been uh, over 330k, guys. Over 330,000. So the reason I say would have, because guess what? He never takes the fucking trades. He never took the GME 205 calls, and he never took. 80 Zillow. I mean, I don't know how much simpler you could be, right? Just follow the fucking instructions, okay? There's only one way to do it right. If you sign up for a coaching program, you become a student, okay? 
you don't just cherry pick, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this, I like this trade, I, I'm going to wait out on this, or I'm going to see what this trade is going to do. Like if you sign up for any program and you want to be coached, you just stick with the plan. You stick with the program. You you take every trade. Um, you, 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 your goal is just simply follow the instructions and learn. Now, let's break down this situation of how this trader, instead of uh, a loss, could have easily made over 300k and he didn't it's the emotions it's the emotions of trading so the alerts don't work if you allow your emotions to get on the way um, and oftentimes that will happen if you have zero education if you're a brand new trader and you see stocks move up down in in you know the typical mistake that a new trader makes is they look at the PL like what the fuck does your PL has to do with the way the trade is evolving? You should be looking at the charts, the levels. Okay, we're not trading the stock here. Options are not necessarily going to have the direct relationship uh, to the stock price at all times because they're decaying. They're losing time value. So the stock could actually move up five bucks on like a thousand dollar stock and your option could still lose value. So, you know, you shouldn't be looking at your PL, but you should be focusing on the chart and the progression of the trade. So if you're going to keep looking at your PL, you will lose in 90% of instances. That is a fact because don't expect your weekly option pricing to maintain a steady value at any given point in time throughout the trading session today or tomorrow or throughout the week for that matter. I mean, that is why you have the opportunity to make this sort of crazy returns, uh, even with a smaller size account. So the moral of the story is don't allow your emotions uh, to take away what's rightly yours. I mean, this 300K was rightly his for the taking. It was served to him on a golden platter. GME calls, 10X trade. Zillow puts, 30X trade. Instead, he chooses to focus on this $6,000 loss on the SPY puts. Okay, so I'm going to summarize briefly, okay, something that is incredibly important if you're trying to succeed as a day trader. Okay, the whole moral of this story is you could be given a perfect alert and you could still fuck it up. So there's two ways to fuck up the alerts. One is entirely just not take action and, and miss it, okay? Um, and with that comes your cherry picking style of trading, right? Okay, well, I like this alert. I'm going to take this one. I, I don't like this one. I don't think it's going to drop or I don't think it's going to go higher. And you mess it up by, you know, getting in late. I mean, we had a guy that instead of shorting uh, Zillow on, a, on, on Monday when the alert went out, he shorted on a Wednesday when it was already down. Almost the stock was down like 45%. That's when he decided to short. Well, now it's clear to him that the shit is dropping. Well, hello, you missed the whole 45% drop in the stock. So it's not taking action. It's cherry peaking. It's taking action too late. There's so many ways to mess up the alert. And... There is easy solution to this. Guys, there is easy, easy solution to all of this, okay, regardless whether you're taking the alerts with us at 13 Market Moves, you're working with a coach, uh, or you're not doing either and you're trying to educate yourself. That's really where the difference comes in is education comes first, okay? You shouldn't be taking the alerts. You shouldn't be doing any sort of trading until you have at least basic foundation of charts and divergences until you at least have a few setups behind your belt that you can recognize on the chart and say hey this is the moment I want to enter or exit the trade okay you've got to get an understanding of, of the sequences and on which day you should go a little heavy on your position you know if you have zero knowledge of all of this if you have zero that's when you're gonna be in a situation like this guy right here where he's allowing, oh my God, I'm down $6,000 in this trade, therefore I'm not going to take the next trade, which is an $80,000 trade, and I'm not going to take the trade after that, which is a $250,000 trade. And again, these numbers, they're simply based off the number of contracts that he was suggested to, to get here. So 
it's emotions got on the way in this guy's head. Why? Because he's looking at what? He's looking at his P&L. He's not focusing on what's next. He's not focusing. He's so messed up with this trade right here with a 6K loss. He can't focus on what's coming next. And a lot of times this will happen because the trader has absolutely zero education. He's close. Chances are if your brand new trader has zero education, the moment you see your account in the red or you take a big hit on, a, on like a one particular trade, uh, you're saying to yourself, well, I don't want to ever trade this ticker again. Or, I don't want to trade this stock ever again. I'm not touching this ever again. Or, I'm not, you know, you, you basically putting yourself psychologically in the place where you will miss out on a lot of great trades that could follow through just after that. Uh, but you're allowing your emotions to get the best of you. So to reduce the emotions, because if you keep responding to the market with emotions, that's a 100% loss, okay, each, each and every time. Your emotions will get the best of you and you will lose. To keep control of your emotions, okay, you need to focus on the charts, the setups, the entries, the exits, the moves, uh, keep tracking of the moves, uh, VIX, all of this stuff that we teach you in the courses, guys, it's going to help you to be in control of your emotions. Okay. And the second thing is once you understand all this, it is sticking to the same strategy each and every time. Okay. You cannot be changing your strategy every freaking day just because, well, the market is doing this or the market is doing that. Or they're saying in the news, it's, you know, it's, this is what's about to happen. Fuck it. Okay. It doesn't matter what they're saying in the news. You need to focus on your strategy, and your strategy does not need to be changed just because you just taken a six thousand dollar loss. Okay, it's the very fact that you're taking a six thousand dollar loss that will make you question your strategy, and therefore the next day you'll say, "Okay, well, there's no way I'm going to take a six thousand dollar loss today. I'm not even going to trade this thing." And this is the day that that same ticker would give you a $36,000 gain, but you're like, well, fuck, but I changed my strategy. I, yesterday I was bearish, today I'm gonna be bullish, and you know, so you change the strategy and you lose two days in a row, why? Because you changed the damn strategy. You let the losses of yesterday dictate good decisions you could have been making today, but you let the emotions on the way, and what happens, you lose again. So sticking with the same strategy each, each and every time. And let me go back here and, and point this out that the strategy itself is, you know, is in the fact that there, there are multiple trades here, right? So this is a winning trade. Uh, this is a winning trade. I mean, this is a 10x trade. Uh, this is a 30 to 50x trade right here depending on the strike that you went with, right? And so this trade right here does nothing. So you could have had a, a easily a 50 to 100% loss here. Okay, so 50%, uh, 100% loss on this trade. Uh, you would have had a huge loss on this. Actually, they were making money uh, when we started buying them on uh, uh, Monday morning because the market started dropping. So for a while, actually, some of these uh, spy boots, they were profitable that this particular trade did not work okay so you would have had a, a, a hundred percent loss on this trade right here okay so you've got hundred percent let's call it hundred percent loss uh, you've got uh, a thousand percent gain and you've got a five thousand percent gain so if you were to put the same amount of money let's say you were to put 10k in each trade right you would put uh, 10k in each one of these trades put 10k right here 10k 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 so total 40k in these trades uh, you would you would have ended up at 50k here uh, you would have lost 10k here so net is 40 you would have ended up with 500k here okay 300 to 500k and you would have lost another 10k here. So clearly, your winners would have way exceeded. You would have had in profits anywhere from 300k. That's after the 200% losses. You would have been at 300 to 500k. All right, that's it. Now, of course, if you're smaller account, 
I mean, you adjust the, you know, let's say you, you would only put $1,000 in this trade. You have a bigger account, you could have put 25 k in each trade, all right, and then you would have been over a million. But, guys, it's sticking to the strategy. It's not like, oh, I, I, oh, I, I like coin puts, let me go ahead and put 10 k here, but I don't like GME calls, I'm not going to take this trade, and I sure don't like Zillow, so I'm not going to take this trade at all. And yeah, I'll take spy puts. You know, you can't look. The program works if you stick to the same strategy each and every time, and you don't look at this situation as like, well, this is a bad trade. This is a this is a loss right here, and therefore the strategy doesn't work. I mean, you got to look at a sequence of trades. You got to look at you know ten trades to figure out. Okay, not just the amount of wins that you have over 10 trades, but you got to look at the percentage of your wins. I mean, fuck, anybody can nail nine, tens out, nine trades out of 10 if you're collecting, you know, a $2 profit. Anybody can do that, but what it, what is that going to do for your account? So if you are struggling with emotions, guys, again, the solution is solution is to educate yourself the solution is to learn more so you wouldn't be making emotional mistakes and get more information get more education all right get trading with a coach who can help you keep your emotions in check uh, because I'll just give this one example guys and and, and I gotta run so uh, let's take a, take a look at this GME trade okay so we were suggesting these uh, calls uh, when it was 197. Now, notice what happens the next day, right? Well, let's say you, you took the alert and instantly it goes profitable. You're in the green, but then you're holding it for bigger gains, and then the next day it does this. And so you would have panicked the fuck out. You'd be like, oh my God, yesterday I was making, you know, 5K in this trade. Now I'm down 5K in this trade. So it drops to like this level of uh, 191, 192. And so if you're working with a coach, we would have told you, hey, what should you do here? Should you get out? Because a lot of times you will be panicking like, oh, my God, I should be getting out, fucking cut the losses. And then you've cost yourself 80000 in profit. So you should have been at it. So if you're working with a coach right here at 30 Market Moves, we told you to add to this position, okay, to add to this position. So sometimes a good trade, if you're looking at your P&L, you were green here, you're red here. Naturally, what do you want to do? You want to get the hell out, okay? And by getting the hell out right here, uh, you would have missed out on this whole round to 255 in, in, in the shares of GME. Missed out on a home run trade. That's a 10x trade, guys. So if you're struggling with situations like this where maybe you're taking a good trade, but then you're finding yourself like you're jumping out, you need some help, okay? It's clear. I mean, we trade GME occasionally, and so understanding some key levels that at 191, 192 was a solid support, and sometimes the fact that the stock dips on low volume when the market opens, it's actually a bullish sign before the momentum breaks out higher. Understanding some key criteria would have helped you maintain your cool, being collective, and making a rational decision here, opposed to looking at your PL. Oh my God! I was making money yesterday. Oh shit! I'm may I'm losing money today on this. I gotta get out. So you would have gotten out at the worst possible time, guys. If you are finding yourself in situations like this again, taking more trades is not a solution. Uh, you've got to have a strategy. You've got to look at the setup. You've got to get more information and education if you want to be a better trader. Bottom line. Maybe you're using some kind of strategy right now. Maybe you don't even have a strategy. Or maybe your strategy is you wake up in the morning, you see what the market is, does. If it's green, you buy calls. If it's red, you buy puts. And that's not a strategy, guys. 13mmtv.com. Okay, guys, if you haven't taken any of the courses, you should. Okay, but if you are brand new and you're struggling with entries and exits, you need Crypto Star course, which goes in great, great detail about helping you identify a perfect entry, perfect exit, perfect entry, perfect exits. That's what you need, Crypto Star course. If you're struggling with reading charts, basics, you know, guys, you've got to go charts divergences, actually a little bit more advanced, but pattern recognition, that's basic, guys. You can't trade without this stuff. You can't trade on the news because you will lose. You can't trade based off 
what somebody else thinks about the market. You've got to look at the stuff yourself, okay? I will proprietary search and market smooth formula, guys. Keep track of the sequences. Be better. Be better prepared than what an average trader is prepared, and you will win more than you lose. It's simple as that. Uh, trade like a rock star, guys. This course deals specifically with helping you understand the correlations in the market and with helping you trade the earnings season, the earnings season reaction to the earnings reports, guys. This is a this is a very very powerful course so you can gain the most from the earnings season, guys. And of course, you can bundle and you can even save right now. You get 10% off if you pay with Bitcoin, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these courses, how to get started, any of this stuff, guys, you schedule a call right here. Um, you can clearly watch a bunch of uh, videos right here and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, you can watch this video. Some of the traders recently uh, has been uh, making a ton of progress with 13 market moves. So if if you're not doing that and you keep making the same mistakes again and again and again, I invite you to make a change today guys uh, I'll catch you on on a few really good videos over the next uh, 48 hours guys the market is all the way at the top I mean this is a historic top and it's gonna come with some amazing trading opportunities both on puts and calls guys we don't discriminate we trade it all we focus on the charts let's roll I'll see you guys in the next video soon Trading wins and losses is just like everything else in life that is worth fighting for. You remember your marriage? Man, it was beautiful when you were getting married, but you had no idea how ugly the losses of this divorce were actually going to be. Like opening a business, thinking you'd get rich overnight. But in the midst of it, you ended up maxing all of your credit cards just to sustain that business for a few years before you even realize a tiny bit of your first profits. Like buying a house thinking it would go up in value forever and ever. Just realizing how wrong you actually were when 2008 hit. Like having kids, it was such a great idea at first. Remember how excited you were, terrified and scared at the same time, how much joy you actually had. Until your kids turned two. Man, the terrible twos. You thought that was bad until they turned 13, 14, 15, Shit, but you wouldn't change it for anything. You love your kids, no matter what your emotional losses or wins are with them, no matter what your financial losses or wins are. It really doesn't matter, does it? You don't quit on your kids, no matter how tough things actually get. For some of us, it's the same thing with trading. Just think, how long are your kids going to be your kids? The answer is forever. How long do you see yourself trading the markets? If your answer is forever, then you owe it to yourself and your kids to invest in the 13 market moves formula so that your life journey of trading would be most rewarding and joyful, both financially and emotionally. Live to trade, trade to live. Conquer the world one trade at a time, fearlessly using the 13 market moves formula today.